It may sound strange, but there are still many people who are not aware of the internet in the modern world. However, they don't even have running water in some parts of the world. For us, it's difficult to imagine how one could be happy in such conditions, but people living in tribes do not feel deprived of something. Interestingly, such tribes have their own special system of values and authentic traditions. At the same time, even in a civilized society, quite strange customs still persist to this day. Today, you will see the most interesting of them. This tiny Miao tribe lives in the mountainous regions of China. The women of the tribe have a rather strange tradition. If you look at their heads, you will be amazed to see that all of their haircuts are made of the hair of their deceased relatives. They believe that the whole power of their family is contained in the hair because our DNA can be found in the root of the hair. Every woman collects her hair throughout her life and then adds it to the hair of her ancestors. The hair is wound on wooden horns and then every Miao woman wears this unusual wig on her head. Most people strive to be slim and fit, but not the Bodhi tribe. They want to be as big as possible while eating all the time. Moreover, the women of the tribe are slim and beautiful, but men believe that the bigger their belly is, the more attractive they become. Today, snow white teeth and a perfect smile are considered one of the main beauty standards. At the same time, in ancient times, Japanese women deliberately blackened their teeth with iron acetate. For some reason, a black smile was considered a sign of loyalty and affection in marriage. This tradition was called Ohaguro. To this day, in some regions of the country, geishas continue to use the Ohaguro technique. The main difference is that today they use safe and easily washable compounds. Scarification is an ancient tradition of the Dinka people. This tribe lives in South Sudan. The life of the tribe is closely connected with buffaloes, so these animals are considered sacred. Members of the tribe scar their faces in such a way that the lines resemble buffalo horns. Also, other patterns are applied to the body with the help of scarring. But scarification is not the most shocking tradition of the tribe. These people collect buffalo urine and then bathe in it. These are their concepts of hygiene. And we have to say that the Agori tribe has the most terrible traditions. In fact, this is not even a tribe, but an ascetic religious Hindu sect. These people feed on corpses and excrement and perform rituals over the remains of people and animals. It's hard to imagine that someone is capable of such a thing in a sober mind, but Agori is rarely sober because the constant consumption of alcohol is one of the main customs of the tribe. The islands of Papua New Guinea are inhabited by the tribe of Chimbu, which is known for its war paint. They paint the bodies in such a way that they look like skeletons. In ancient times, they used such intimidating coloring to intimidate the enemy. Now the men of the tribe are painted like this only for the sake of participating in the six-day festival in Mount Hagen, where representatives of 60 tribes meet. One of the most aggressive is the Korubo tribe, which lives in the western part of the Amazon basin. They don't paint their bodies to intimidate their enemies. Instead, they always carry batons with them. For this, they are called headbusters. Korubo literally translates as people with batons. They often raid neighboring tribes. The Asmet tribe lives in the national park in southeast New Guinea. This tribe has a very bad reputation. They closely follow the eye for an eye rule, which means that if a member of the tribe has suffered from a white man, the tribe is obliged to take revenge by sacrificing any white man. The Asmet people were accused of kidnapping Michael Rockefeller, but the mystery of the disappearance of the heir to one of the richest and most influential families has not been disclosed to this day. Apache is the most rebellious tribe of Indians. At the same time, this name unites several people who live in the southwest of the USA. Today, Apaches live in Texas and Oklahoma, and there are no reservations in Arizona and New Mexico. Throughout the history of its existence, the people moved across the continent and fought with the colonizers. The Maori is an indigenous people of New Zealand. They were the main population in these territories before the arrival of Europeans. 
Representatives of the tribe are easily recognized by their tattoo faces. They intimidated their rivals by sticking out their tongues, bulging their eyes, and uttering a terrible cry. Later, this peculiar ritual developed into a traditional haka dance. The Cheyenne is one of the American Indian tribes which managed to fight both with the colonizers and with other tribes in the history of its existence. The representatives of the tribe were so skilled and brave warriors that even their enemies respected them. In the 19th century, the Cheyennes were divided into seven military male unions, one of which was called the Dog People. This tribe is known for its unusual headdresses consisting of several hundred feathers. Snake charmers are one of the oldest professions in India, which is a symbol of this country. Oriental fairy tales often describe the magical dance of a snake moving to the beat of a flute medley. Every year, there were fewer snake charmers, and last year the reputation of this profession suffered after a gang of snake charmers was detained in Delhi. Criminals robbed people, threatening them not only with reptiles, but also with knives. Australian Aborigines have a kind of superpower. They have supervision. They see several times better than the vast majority of people. They can even see in the dark. But there is also one other problem. Their eyesight deteriorates much faster than the average person's. Many Australian Aborigines become blind by the age of 40. Cardiovascular diseases are leading the list of the most dangerous diseases, but the natives of Bolivia do not have to worry because their hearts and blood vessels are in perfect order. Experts believe this is due to a specific diet. These people eat combined unprocessed carbohydrates with a minimum amount of fat. The Comanche is one of the most dangerous tribes in the American West. It was this tribe that was the one to first tame horses. Comanches are often compared to Spartans as they were masterful in martial art. Their whole life was connected with the war, so not only the colonizers, but also other Indians were afraid of the Comanches. Maasai is an East African nomadic people who have preserved their original culture and traditions to the present day. Maasai live in southern Kenya and northern Tanzania. This nation is recognized as the tallest in the world. The men of the tribe jump high to demonstrate their strength and agility. In this way, they try to attract their future wife. But this is nothing compared to how the future wife is blessed by her father. He spits on his daughter before handing her over to her husband. Every nation has its own wedding traditions, but some of them are really shocking. For example, in Bali, newlyweds have their teeth filed before the wedding. Six teeth, according to the Balinese, identify six devilish vices, such as gluttony, stupidity, anger, envy, greed, and lust. Therefore, entering into family life, you need to file these sins. In eastern Nigeria, the groom who goes to the bride is met by all of her relatives and beaten with sticks. Compared to this, the tradition of paying a bride price seems quite humane. In African tribes, family life begins with trials. For example, in these frames, you can see how the groom's relatives came to the house of his chosen one to smear her with manure. In such a strange way, they make it clear to the girl that they accept her into the family. In most tribes, a girl does not have the right to raise her voice in such an important issue as marriage. The parents choose a pair, and the daughter is obliged to obey. Often, the family married off an underage girl just to get a ransom. It's scary to imagine that such cases continue to occur to this day, but this really happens. Mm -hmm. 